Hi I'm Jordan Fielding welcome to our news channel All India News First Headline World's First Hybrid Robot Made by Indo-Russian Joint Venture Unveiled Now entails the world's first hybrid robot capable of traveling on land, water, snow and sand that has been built by an Indo-Russian joint venture was unveiled in Moscow. The world's first hybrid robot capable of traveling on land, water, snow and sand that has been built by an Indo-Russian joint venture was unveiled in Moscow on Tuesday at the startups event organized by Russia's state-run Skolkova Foundation. The robot is designed to access difficult terrain, such as flooded or marshy areas where the use of regular boats is made impossible because of shallow water, patches of dry land or by marine vegetation. It has been designed by IIAT Holding, a joint venture between the International Institute for Advanced Aerospace Technologies and Indian firm Millennium Aerodynamics. The robot is on demonstration in and around a pond in the two-day startup village annual event in Moscow for technology entrepreneurs and investors organized by Russia's biggest innovation fund the Skolkova Foundation. II at holding board member Sukrit Sharon, who is in Moscow, told Yins in an email interview that they have orders for more than 25 robot units from private and government buyers in India of which they have already dispatched five for use in disaster management. These are much faster and more robust than the comparable hovercrafts, he said. We have already exported around five units to India, both for transportation and disaster management applications. These delivered products are poised to help save hundreds of lives in India during the monsoon season when the regions experience floods, Sharon said. After our success with Indian disaster management authorities, Russia's Ministry of Emergency Situations has shown very strong interest in these vehicles. While hovercrafts on average move at around 45 to 50 km per hour on water, robots are capable of going at around 150 km or more, he said. The robot is also more robust than hovercrafts, and with estimated maintenance costs of $400-$600 per year, is cheaper to maintain and fuel, Sharon said. He pointed out that it runs on a hybrid engine meaning it can run on either petrol or electricity, enabling users to reduce carbon emissions and increase energy efficiency. Additionally, we are equipping our robots with diet, Internet of Things, technology, which allows us to remotely monitor and control and diagnose the equipment, as well as troubleshoot select faults, he said. According to the makers, with room for 10 passengers and one crew member, the 6.5-meter-long robot can handle steep slopes and embankments, and does not require any marine infrastructure such as jetties, since it is amphibious. Hovercrafts work on static air cushion, whereas robots work on dynamic air cushion. This feature gives robots a huge advantage in terms of speed and maneuverability, he said. It's possible to use hovercrafts, but they are very expensive to operate and also have speed limitations. Our amphibious robots can provide high-speed year-round navigation, even when bodies of water are frozen like in Russia, he added. Thank you for watching the video, please subscribe the channel now if not already. Stay tuned. Tune.